Our young adults recently attended a conference called Shift in Chicago, and the main speaker was Brian McLaren, who is uh, an emergent church uh, figure. Our youth ministry is also called Emerging Generation. How much of the emergent church movement is, uh, has Woodland Hills embraced, or is this coincidence? Senior pastor. Well, um, the idea of the emergent generation is just a, a term that's used for the younger generation, that age group. So that, that's just using a commonly used term. Uh, in terms, there is, there's no specific or, um, you know, ideological, intentional linking to the emergent church. Uh, in fact, there's not even a clear emergent church to link to. Uh, one of the hardest things in the world to do is to pin down what you mean by emergent church. Uh, I met with some leaders of the emergent church, oh, I guess it was six months ago, asking them that very question. And they make jokes about it saying, well, we, if you ask you know, six leaders of the emergent church what is the emergent church, you'll get six different answers. It's, it's that, that amorphic. There, is, you know, th there are motifs. There's a, there's a kind of atmosphere, uh, uh, some you know, convictions that are shared that I think are really positive and good. Uh, like an emphasis on the kingdom, uh, like an emphasis on uh, following Jesus and not just holding to specific beliefs. Those are some characteristics of the emergent church. The emphasis on community, uh, the emphasis on smallness, that the kingdom advances by particular acts of love uh, and proclamation that we engage in rather than in large events. Those are all kind of characteristics, uh, characteristics of the emergent church that um, I, I think really speak to the emergent generation and to that degree sort of characterize our, our youth uh, group. But there's no uh, intentional uh, thought like we have to link to this particular movement or anything of the sort. It strikes me that two of the most significant concerns amongst some evangelical Christians about the emergent are these two things. One, has the emergent church gone too far down the line of postmodernism to the point where they're unwilling or at least nervous about making um, exclusive truth claims. Um, problem one. Um, uh, in fact, I think probably every problem uh, that I've heard real criticism about immersion stems out of that question. Um, I, Greg and I, if, you know, from reading our books, from, from the way we, we do theology, you wouldn't probably classify us at all in that vein. We, you know, the, the area of philosophy is epistemology. What can we know? And um, can we make uh, statements of truth based on Scripture, for example, about how reality and how God really is? Um, we believe you can. And, and so in that realm where, where most emergent can, gets criticized, we wouldn't be seen as, as fitting real neatly into that would probably be considered by most emergent folks as, as uh, modernist dinosaurs in some respects. Um, so, yeah, I think there, there is some, some, some difference there. Another way of saying that is just to say this, and I'll be very quick. But, um, and, and Charlie, you should have the right to, uh, if we ever use language that is too technical, like Paul just did, yeah, uh, to yeah. stop us and, you know, to say, okay, will you define what do you mean? epistemology okay. and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, uh, like, for example, Paul and I just wrote two books that look at history and try to argue for uh, the belief, the credibility, uh, and the persuasiveness of the belief that Jesus Christ is Lord, based on historical evidence. Um, uh, that is something that a lot of postmoderners, in fact, by definition, postmoderners wouldn't, they don't put enough trust in reason to do that. At least many of them would, wouldn't think that you can argue for beliefs, whereas I think you have to. Uh, to not argue for beliefs, I think, is arrogant. If you believe something and you want to make a claim about it, well, you should be able to give some reason for it. Uh, but uh, that is considered to be a modernist perspective more than a postmodernist perspective.